from uh, 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 you can get disease uh, between one uh, three months. <coughs> uh, sorry, and that can be grown under the fluorescent light, like uh, our deposits, and also they can be grown at the very high density. So we can grow a lot inside of the building. So you don't always need a uh, greenhouse. And of course, we, can, we have very uh, sufficient, uh, efficient uh, transformation. So the main, uh, our bioresource of the microtome is a uh, mutant collection. So to obtain the mutant collection, we use the mutagen like uh, EMS, the chemical mutagenesis, and or the gamma ray uh, irradiation for the seeds. And so far, we already collected more than 17,000 of the mutant population. And it, it, this makes the world's largest uh, mutant population uh, of the tomato. Then we can we catalog the, these uh, mutant populations on the, our specific uh, tomato database. And I will uh, introduce this uh, database also. So in this database, we nicely uh, provide the picture, the images of the uh, mutant lines. For example, the plant size, the shorter one, and uh, we uh, we are morphology and uh, totally different insular influence structure, architecture, and branches, and color, size of the fruit, and also the flower morphology, and, and so on. And uh, besides, uh, in, the, in addition to the visual visual uh, mutant phenotypes, we also are characterizing the fruit metabolites, invisible phenotypes. So here I just show you the most uh, characteristic uh, components that uh, decide the, uh, uh, say, the value of the fruit. For example, the sugar leaks or cut noise that including the lyco lycopen and also GABA as I explained and also uh, there is uh, uh, known as umami and taste the glutamate and aspartate so this kind of uh, meta and fruit metabolite data were also assigned on the mutant populations then you can find the tomato database by Google, but be careful. I found that uh, there is another tomato website that's a uh, tomato maybe liquor or a drink or juice. And this is actually a pretty nice website, but it's not our site. So this is the real tomato database, and there is a, a menu on the left side, and if you see the image gallery, you can uh, find the uh, mutant lines by your eyes, visually find your uh, in mutants of interest. And if you have more specific uh, interest, for example, if you find uh, uh, yellow fruit or orange fruit, or early ripening fruit, you can just uh, click these phenotype uh, tabs. And more easier way, you can just use this uh, small box and just like uh, Google, you can find any uh, phenotypes by uh, one searching. And after you find the uh, mutant seeds you want to uh, order, just uh, add, to, add the seeds to the uh, cut and you can get them by like uh, you know Amazon or something. Of course, you need an FDA contractor, but it's pretty easy. And also, we are providing the metabolic information. And here, I just show you the example of the bricks. So this is the median, the average uh, fruit uh, uh, sugar content, something like that. 
And if you uh, are very interested in the high sugar accumulated uh, mutant, you can just click the bar here and see which you know, uh, specific uh, line uh, produce this kind of very uh, sweet uh, fruit. And you can also uh, order these lines. So yeah, so we catalog uh, cataloging these uh, meter lines on the Tomatoma website, and this is our achievement. So we are distributing uh, not only to the Japanese researchers, but also, as I said, for all all the world researchers. And we just started two thousand seven, and now we are uh, distributing like uh, more than eight hundred lines a year. And this is the countries where we distribute the seeds. So, of course, the most uh, seeds were uh, distributed to inside of the Japan. But the second uh, group are Asian countries. So, yeah, of course, uh, China uh, is the largest one, and second, Korea, and also other Asian countries, including the Indonesia, the Philippines, this uh, region and um, more or less in the, uh, to Europe and US. So, so I, I also want to explain and introduce what we can do from the, these uh, mutant populations. So this is the major uh, approach or strategies that the users uh, do is uh, phenotypes to change. Because we can provide uh, many very interesting uh, mutant populations, but we don't know which gene is responsible for that phenotype. So when the read users uh, get the seeds, they we try to you know uh, reveal which gene is responsible for that uh, phenotype. So for example, these uh, mutants were already and decided the response to genes, this gene, uh, this friend, uh, that is, they, uh, this mutant is came from the OXC, J, 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 uh, Jason Garcia's and Jibirin pathway, or uh, this color is came from, you know, uh, also functional or mean transfer factor or something like that. And today I will just uh, introduce two um, in, uh, examples. So this is the one with the best paper we uh, the uh, the users published. So this uh, is published in 2017 from uh, Japan Cell. So this was really uh, interesting because uh, so now we have uh, plenty of cultivars, right? The thousands of tomato cultivars, but but 100% uh, of the cultivar has this kind of very similar uh, trust structure, right? But in this group, uh, they found that they can, you know, uh, make more variation of the trust, the inheritance structures. So they try, okay, maybe this kind of variation can lead to the um, improvement of the fruit production. So in that uh, study, they ordered our uh, mutant population and uh, JP5091 or something. And in that uh, website, the uh, mutant was uh, uh, assigned as like a influencing structure mutant and produced many flowers or a very long internal or something information. So they ordered this seed and actually after that they decided which gene is responsible for this uh, phenotype and published the paper. And next I just used different uh, example to show how we can you know, uh, identify the responsible gene from the mutant population. So actually this is the paper from our group. So uh, it's pretty easy to explain. So in this case, the mutant showed the sleep 
metal and male stability. Stali so the first thing they did was just backcross with the uh, microtone maritime and obtain F2 population. And I forgot to uh, describe here, but they sold uh, maybe uh, around 200 of the F2 seeds. They see the segregation ratio, and maybe that was the uh, single recessive femtype. So then they just uh, collected the mutant like plants and collected the, the genome DNA each from each of them and just mix and uh, sequence by Irina platform. So this is the actually well established method and uh, you can just see the paper from Nature Biotechnology. So if the locus or the SNP not totally unrelated to the, this uh, mutant phenotype, you can get like a mixture of the SNP. But if the SNP is uh, totally linked to the phenotype, you can get 100% different uh, SNP from the reference sequence. Something like that. Maybe you, you can just <coughs> understand when you uh, read this paper. And this is the, another uh, good information because in this case we need only maybe less than 1,000 US dollar. It's pretty uh, uh, cheap and maybe the price is getting cheaper and cheaper now. And this technique is called mapping by sequencing. And in this case, we just identified the chain less than one year. Uh, much, much uh, efficient than old fashioned uh, groups, for example, uh, positional growing, right? And I don't have time, but I just briefly explained the other uh, resources. So the, the previous one was phenotypes to genes, right? But or we also provide the G2 phenotype the resources like the tagging lines, but we just started, so the number is uh, still low. But the good uh, feature of our database is we visually show where the tag is inserted. For example, in this case, the tag is inserted in this gene, so this gene is maybe disrupted, and also. Uh, we started the uh, enhancer tags, so maybe both these genes were <coughs> enhanced. And also, so this is the uh, GM plant, so it's really tricky to you know, deal with the, or distribute to the researchers, but uh, we also can provide good uh, platform for tilling technique. So this killing technique is uh, to isolate the very specific uh, gene mutants from the, uh, our population. So let's see. The, so we already have the 17,000 mutant population lines, right? And from these populations, we just uh, see visual phenotypes like uh, 2,000 or 3,000, and others are. We, we are not sure with what kind of mutations are there, but we can still uh, using the specific primers and doing the PCR and you know uh, find the heterodupris. You can find the specific uh, mutant of the uh, gene of your interest. And this is the just now outcome of the. Yeah, uh, outcomes of our bioresources. And yeah, so we also provide the white type microtome and they use the uh, prove some sort of the techniques. Yeah, so, okay, I, I want to finish now. So thank you for the uh, attention.